Hello YouTube. Welcome back. Today we're getting lunch ready. Here so far we have a sun-dried tomato tortilla wrap with some turkey and that's some diced up um, honey barbecue uh, chicken that was in the air fryer and we just cut it up and the Dijon mustard actually is honey Dijon mustard is the base and I'm going to add some tomato and lettuce and a little bit of cheese to this. So I'll be right back. And here it is with the tomato and romaine lettuce added. And it's great if you're able to have things already chopped up, diced up, and prepped and ready for the refrigerator. Be right back. I'm going to grab the cheese. Now on here we've went ahead and added the sharp shredded cheese. And I don't know if you can see the little white in there. That's actually plain goat cheese as well. So it's got sharp cheddar and goat cheese on it. So that's how the wrap is going to be built today. And a lot of this is just, I don't want to use the word leftovers, but leftovers. Um, the chicken was left over. Um, the tomatoes we use in salads, which goes on wraps as well. The lettuce. Um, the store we went to had shredded romaine lettuce that's already shredded. So what we do is just put it in a container because uh, it's already pre-washed. Put it in a container and put a napkin on top of it so that way it doesn't go slimy or get brown quick. And it's been in there for over a week and it still looks really good, really nice and crisp looking. Actually, I take that back. We actually did um, put it in water to let it set the refrigerator to get crisp. Then laid it out, let it dry. And then once it was dry, you know, kind of pat it down with napkins. Then put the napkin on top. And popped a little. It's got like a little vent hole on the top. So kept that open so that way the air circulates. And it turns out good. And also the goat cheese, once it's opened... We just put it in a piece of uh, foil, that's not foil, a piece of plastic wrap. And you wrap it real tight and then we'll, we'll stick it down in this container here with the lid and it'll last a long time in the refrigerator. It's really soft cheese so you could just use a fork and kind of stab it and it kind of breaks off right onto your salad or your wrap. So let me get this going and we'll be right back. Just so you can see, there's the container with the cheese already shredded. So that makes the job easier. Um, this is a, just a plain old plate with the tomatoes on it already sliced. And then there's the goat cheese in its container already prepped and ready to go back in the refrigerator for another quick and easy fast meal to put together. And uh, let me go grab the knife and see if we can get this cut and ready to put in a container for our lunch tomorrow. There's a view of the sandwich all cut up. Isn't that beautiful looking? Really nice looking lunch. And again, this will be, um, you know, lunch for tomorrow. If you can't eat it all, then... You can always eat half or cut the half and half, if it makes sense, whatever your proportion will be. But that is a lovely, lovely turkey and chicken wrap that we made just with things that was already in the refrigerator, already prepped up or left over from something else. So let me get a container and I'll show you kind of what we put that in to put in the refrigerator so it's no hassle. Okay, it's in this glass dish and ready to go. This is a three-quart dish, and I like these. Um, my husband buys them locally. We're able to find at a store to where they're so much cheaper than getting them on um, line. It's kind of like a discount store, and I like them because the lids fit on them um, pretty easily, easy to put on and take off, which I enjoy. So it's just like a lid and if you give it a little press it'll go down in there but this is um what it looks like 
And you're able to pair this, say, with a, a yogurt, which will be good. Um, yogurt with a side of granola, uh, some chips, or some kind of crisp. If you want some walnuts on the side, if you want something for some crunch, uh, we keep walnuts in the freezer because that's a quick grab. Um, anything that you want on the side, but that's a pretty good, healthy, hearty looking sandwich for a lunch. And like I said, even if you eat half, and say a couple of chips and a drink, I think that would be plenty. And then if you got a second lunch or, you know, hungrier throughout the day and you want to snack and have the second one or split it with someone, um, a significant other or a child or, you know, a family member that might live in your home, that that's another option. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more what we have for lunches.